Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4. In the last episode, well, we're heading back so that we can do the minigame that would be there. Um, on the way back though, I was, said I was going to meet you there, but on the way back I ran into this guy. Well, a couple of these guys actually. Because if we remember from the castle, backtracking will actually lead to more enemies. And more mind darts. Well, all right. All right, so now we are back to this guy. Some rare yes, rare things, on sh rare things on sale, stranger. Anyways, first thing is first. 60,000 percent does the tactical vest feel safer with this armored vest. Reduces damage taken by 30%. Don't think I've got enough to make it. We'll find out. Um, I don't think I do, though. Go ahead and sell the emerald. Uh, sell the pocket watch. Uh, crap. Okay. What are you buying? What is there for tune-up, anyways? Uh, the striker, the killer seven. I saw. What here, how much does this mine ammo sell for again? Oh, Five hundred. Not enough. I really want the tactical vest. If you couldn't tell. Oh yeah, we're gonna get money from doing this, anyways. So. Let's just go ahead and do the minigame. Let's go ahead and pick our sniping. There we go. Gently. And we'll pick game D. It automatically starts off in a big play field. Now I don't remember if there's a game E. I don't remember off the top of my head. D might be the last one. Oh crap, I forgot about this. You also have perils like that. Oh. I totally forgot how mean this one is. Number of prizes, three. All right. Oof. Forgot how evil this one is. You also really need to step up your game. There is a little variance in the um, other versions. Like you can miss uh, some enemies. You can miss some points. But in this later one, you really got to be up on your game. Not to mention there's... Tons of Ashleys everywhere too. It's also that. But points plays a play a big factor. There we go. That should be it. For the minigame, that is, anyways. Oof. That can be a little bit of adrenaline. 50,000 pesetas for completing that row. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and buy the vest now. Since we can. Yeah, it'll put us down, but I mean, we on overall reduces the damage we take by 30%. Ah, there we go. I thought it was a crash for a second. There we go. Now we have our nice little tactical vest on. Fancy, fancy. Oh, it can only hold five per slot. I forgot about that. Let's do that for right now. And then we'll put you there just to kind of feng shui the whole thing. Mm. Okay. Actually, let's do this. Huzzah. Okay, so I've been putting off tuning it up for a reason. Let's go ahead and just do the... Oh, come on. Come on. I'm just like... I'm right there. You know what I'm going to do? 
probably gonna hate myself for doing this. Oh, it's only 2,000. Crap, okay. Oh, well, that's not gonna work either. <laughs> Mm, sorry, heard a, a noise. Uh, a custom scope. There is the scope for the mine thrower. Uh, we do actually have scope too for the semi-auto rifle. Uh, I'll be getting those later, most likely. What are you selling? I don't want to sell that treasure, but I don't remember if which ones I use and which ones I don't use. If I use any at the here in the um. Here on the island. I'm trying to think, sorry. Ba, 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 ba. 10,000 pesetas? Wow. That yellow herb is really worth a lot. Not gonna sell it, but just wow. But how much worth how much it's worth. We'll do an incinerary grenade. Is that all strength? Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. And the three herbs. Is that all? <laughs> Only because I would like some ammo for this thing. Leave us with 760 pesetas. Less than I think we started the game with, ironically. So free up a little bit of space that we kind of desperately needed. Um, and we have a little bit of more ammo for it. Which is always a good thing. Wow, that took seven minutes? Jesus. Takes the wheel. Don't know where that came from. Don't ask. <laughs> that was totally random. Back to the save point, though. Um, and then there's there are two paths here. There was that path to the left, and then there was the stairs. So instead of taking the door to the next room... Wait a minute. Okay, wait. Two things. Okay, no, that treasure is, is taken. I thought that was a star. But no, that's actually not what I needed. We unlocked it. So now we can actually have a shortcut back. Um, back to what? I don't know, but it's it's there. <laughs> level 1 to level 2. Sala de Operaciones. Don't know what that means. Don't know Spanish. But Operaciones, I think, is, is operations or operation. Okay, there's that way. What's down here real quick? Oh, hey, it's all of this. Okay. I wasn't expecting this. So down here is where I need to go, right? So this is where we need to eventually end up. But let's just go through here now. Uh, cold freezer. Oh, I remember what's in the cold freezer. Crap. There's the emerald, or a emerald, I should say. Not the emerald. Let's go ahead and get some dragonfly ammo. I just now realized it's called dragonfly. That's actually really cool. Just saying. It's locked. It looks like I need to insert a card key. There's a faint, unpleasant odor coming from beyond the store. It smells like garbage. Well, Leon. I'm sorry. Did you feel that way? I don't know what I'm I don't know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Let's just continue. Uh, here we go. This is no doubt where we need to be. Ooh, an automatic door. Oh, oh crap, okay. Now I remember what's exactly going on here. Um, it's some kind of research equipment. I wonder what it's used for. Uh, it's used for that thing. Uh, uh, his name would be, by the way, Iron Maiden. If you guys didn't know, I mean, obviously, I haven't told you, so. So, this must be the door security system. Operate, yes. Ooh, hey, look at this thing. Okay, churn witch. Let's turn the green. Let's turn yellow, and let's turn blue. 
Let's try the green again, and then let's try the red. There we go. Lewis's memo. Three. So, Lewis from the Grave, part two. The hideous creatures, such as the El Gigante and the Nobis Totters, <coughs> are merely byproducts of the diabolical and inhumane experiments conducted on the specimens that were once human. But there's one type of creature that clearly distinguishes itself from the rest. These creatures are called regenerators. Regenerators have superior metabolism that allows them to regenerate their lost body parts at an incredible speed. I've never seen anything like it. It is this characteristic that makes them almost invincible to conventional weapons. But like any living creature, there's a way to kill it. Apparently, there are plagas that live in its body somewhat like leeches. They can't be seen with the naked eye. They can only be located through thermal imaging. To stop its regenerating regeneration process, these leech-like plagas must be located and destroyed. As far as I know, most of the regenerators host a number of these leech-like plagas. To kill the regenerators, each one of these leech-like plagas must be killed. So yeah, this isn't Iron Maiden. Never mind, I take that back. What the what kind of experiments are going on here? Oh, that freaked me out. That was a door closing. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit of a head. These are not the lost plot or the Iron Maidens. It woke up. Okay. So pretty much you have to target limb by limb. I don't have the thermal. So pretty much we just need to target what is going to work. Okay, so. You know what? Yeah, I forgot. Never mind. That's not going to work. Holy crap, I forgot about that. So yeah, you kind of just do that. Take off each of its, each of its limbs at a time, uh, whittle it down to nothing. Okay, so there's that, and I also expanded my, which call it? oops, hit my mic. I expanded my health a little bit too, which is good. Uh, is it in here? Please be in here, please be in here. Oh, there's an emerald, which is nice, because money is nice, but crap, not what I needed. Okay, so you can take them out without a thermal imager. Thermal imaging does... Make them easier, but you can take them out without one. It's just more of a, a guessing game. Yep, they start showing up a lot now, by the way. And you saw how nasty it was, it leaked at me. There we go. By the way, it explodes in a very interesting fashion. Another five grand only. Oh, that takes a lot. Give me a little bit of room. Okay. Oof. Eek, okay. Uh. Okay, there's something around the corner, I think. Yep, you, again. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, 
I'll, I kind of give it away. The thermal imaging is more or less the new scope for the semi-auto. Mines do not work on it. You need to stop missing. There we go. More precise attack. Another five grand there. Go ahead and enter the cold storage now. This this area is, you know, a, a good... You do get a good chunk of pesetas. I mean, they are hard enemies. Uh, somewhat. But you can't defeat them. Maybe I can rewrite the data on my key card and turn it into another key card. So this is actually um, the stable of Resident Evil games, if I, don't re if I remember correctly. This is something that you've been able to do in past games. Let's turn off the cryogenics. There's the uh, scope that we need. But turning off the cryogenics is bad. Look at what's in here. These bodies must have been cryogen cryogenized with the parasites still in their bodies. Sucks to be them. Oh, Leon, thanks for being, uh, compassionate. The infrared scope. Oh, wait, no. The door's been locked, and this is a different scope. I take that back. The one that you buy and this one is are two different scopes. Um, but, but this scope does help out a lot. Combine. Get out of that room. See, it makes them a lot easier. Um, like I said, you can do it, but you have to pretty much take off limb by limb to kind of trap it. Once it's been trapped, then you can take it out. But, but with the infrared, it makes things a lot easier. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to stretch there. Don't know why I'm going down there. Let's go ahead and head on into the trash disposal area. Since we rewrote our card to go ahead and open the door for us. Probably should have gone back and saved. Just now realized. Please be a safe point soon. Sort of. TMP ammo. Hand grenade. Oh, I don't like this area. I just never remembered what this area is. Let's just go ahead and operate them. So we can do some pretty funny stuff. Like trap the Ganados and chuck him down there. This makes them a lot easier because this fight is actually kind of evil. Otherwise, I missed you. you destroy one more time. It's like an evil version of the crane game. And see, that would actually cut you in half. Technically. Okay, so now once you get rid of enough of them, they will start to come up here.
Oof, okay, anyways, um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, getting past those guys. Oh, let's do a little bit of inventory Tetris, I just now realized. Okay, so let's reload you. And I probably shouldn't have. Let's Tetris you guys, and let's place you down there gonna be the closest that you can make right now um, anyways these three like these three like this takes up three spaces but it's two by two you know like not three long ways this takes up four spaces but it's two by two this is just two by two you know that takes up what five but it's two by two this takes up seven but it's two by two four but it's two by two you know, five, but it's two by two. This takes up three, but it's three by one. Two by two, I shouldn't say two by two. That's what, five by two? So, <laughs> it's in, not necessarily an even. Well, yes it is, because it's auto, if it's by, no. Yeah, because if you multiply it by two, I mean, it makes it even. No, it doesn't. I take that back. No, uh, never mind, I am right. No, it's se seven, yeah, seven, but times two is 14. Never mind. So, anyways, so it's just a weird, odd shape that you don't really know what to do with too well. Yellow herbs, sweet. They're starting to hand those out a lot more. Security switch for the lift. It's still on, so... There's nothing we can do about it right now. Aha! Uh -huh. Flash grenade. Flash. Uh... <laughs> I'm an idiot. It's cool. <clears throat> and there's Ashley again. So we're close. Let's just walk over the uh, electric lines on the ground. Why not? Because that's totally normal. She doesn't even know we're there and she's screaming for us. Yes, and you did see correctly, there is two of them. So we're going to do this. We're going to do that. Ashley, you better back up. I actually don't think you can hurt her, so that's a good thing. So we'll do that. Oh wow, that actually didn't do... I shouldn't have reloaded it, whatever. <sighs> okay. Oh, she actually stops banging. It's locked. I need a card key. We can talk to her. But, no. That would be too fun, or you know, not fun, I, I should say. That, sh that would be too easy to talk to her through the bars. Yes, okay, good. the save point is coming up. After a fight. silent because of the fight. Sorry. Yeah, we'll trip you. And some more ammo. Oh, what is this? What are these x-rays showing? I don't know. It's what I want to know. Yep, yeah, says the same thing. Because I wanted to. Because I wanted to. We'll get over it. 
Oh, I'll go ahead and take some more shotgun shells. That's always a good thing. Or maybe. I don't know. Oof. So which door is the save point? Straight in. Okay. So we're going to go straight. Okay. So now that I finally made it to the save point, that'll be it for this episode of Let's Play Resident Evil 4. I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.